If you want to be a good golfer and score low, you've got to have a good short game. Now, one of the best golfers I know is James Robinson, ex-European Tour player, played in the Open, and now a fantastic coach. Around this green, I'm going to give him five shots. He's going to explain how he plays it, and you guys can learn some tips, hopefully for you to play better golf. Okay, we're going to start off easier and gradually get harder through the five. Okay. First one, pace putting. Yeah. Something that a lot of golfers struggle with. Give us your best tips from here, James. Okay, so one routine that I'd like to try and talk to you about is once you've kind of read the putt and you've got a general gist of where this is going to go. So this putt is it's probably a couple of feet right to left. The chances of holding this putt are minimal. So what I really need to get here is pace. So my routine and certainly my tips for you would be get alongside the ball, have a look at the hole. So my eyes are focused on the hole. I have one practice stroke and I'm trying to make that as realistic as possible relative to the speed of the green. So I have one, but then I also have a second practice stroke. I always generally have two, maybe three practice strokes depending on how long the putt is and whether I've got that feel in that stroke. So if I was just to go ahead here, I'm looking at the hole, I go one stroke, two strokes, I align the putter, a couple of feet right, just make sure my aim's okay. And then the last tip for you is a long stare at the hole, back to the ball and go. And that long stare just before you go. Go in. Oh, tiny bit firm. But that long stare just before you go gives you that recognition again of how far away the hole is. Love that. Yeah. Really good. Okay, number two, this shot. Okay. Sure, the green, not loads to get over. I'd like you to explain what maybe you would do or what shot you'd go for, yep. but then also the tip that would help, help the most amount of golfers watching this video. I would normally um, fly it onto the green probably use a 52 degree in this situation, but loft is dangerous for a lot of people. When you get it wrong with loft, the room for error is huge. So I've got a seven iron here. I'm gonna teach you a simple way. I'm just like running it up, hopefully get up and down. So seven iron, one, one thing I'd like you to try and do, get your hands higher. So almost feeling like you're using the toe of the club on the floor. We don't want the toe up in the air like this. So get the toe of the club down slightly so your hands are slightly higher. And we're gonna try and almost get a bit more over it like a putting stroke. So one thing that I'd like you to do, get to the bottom of the grip, feet slightly aiming left, weight favoring the left foot. So 70% of my weight is gonna be on my front foot and it's gonna stay there during the whole shot. So I don't want any wrists in this shot. It's just a rock of the shoulders like this. Ideally, we know it's gonna run, so we're gonna to have to land this short of the green into the bank and just pop it along. But because I'm using low loft, it will release up to the flag. So, toe down, the shaft's upright, bottom of the grip, ball position is just slightly behind center, a weight's forward, and then just a little rock of the shoulders, keeping the weight forward. Very nice. I think most people would take that shot every day. Yeah. Would you describe almost that stroke very similar to a putting stroke? Very similar. No wrist break. Certainly getting your eyes a bit more over the ball. Shaft up. So it's very like a putting stroke, but I actually grip it normal rather than using my putting grip. Love that. Really good. Nice shot as well. Okay, shot number three. It's getting harder each time. Yep. Is this shot. A okay. 50 yard shot. Yep into a little bit of a tight pin. One that I know is a nemesis for me, so I'm definitely taking notes. Take it away, James. How do we play this shot? Okay, so I'm gonna use my 58 degree, 50 yards. Um, main things really, I will be gripping just a little bit down the grip. My ball position is gonna be fairly central. My weight is gonna be certainly favoring the left side, 70%, but I don't use a lot of wrists on these shots. Some people promote much more wrist than I use. I'd certainly feel like I play it much more with the sternum. My shoulders feel like they do all the work. A good way of pitching is with a, a towel under my armpits and that really helps me. 
So that gives me the sensation that I'm going to use my chest to try and hit this ball. I'm not using a massive amount of wrists. So club face alignment, the club is flat on the floor. Ball position center, still quite a narrow stance. Weights forward. And I'm going to feel like I hit this with my sternum now, keeping my weight forward. Please go in. Do it. Do it. Oh! <laughs> I love it. There you go. We are not worthy. We are not worthy. That, that is epic. That's how you play a 50 yard pitch shot. There you go. Absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> okay, next shot. James is a bunker. Okay, so I'd have quite a wide stance, certainly wider than any other shot that I'd play. My ball position, I'd have on my left heel. I have a lot of weight set into my left leg. So I set about probably about 80% of my weight into my front foot here. My feet are aiming slightly left of the target and my club face, I open the club face, then I take my grip. Then one thing that I feel to use the bounce on the club is I feel that my hands are behind the, uh, the club head at address. So what that does is it increases the bounce of the club, which is a really good thing in a bunker. And then my thoughts are I swing up and down my footpath and then I cock my wrist in the backswing, but then I uncock my wrist on the way down. And one thing that I'm trying to achieve is returning the shaft angle to the point that I started with. So I'm not trying to lean it forward or add any loft through impact. I'm trying to return what I started with through the point of impact, keeping my weight forward at all times. Very so, nice, Pretty James. good shot, tiny bit short, but return the bounce nicely, so. Would you almost always be looking to get up and down from a bunker? Yes, like, <laughs> simple, simple answer. That. <laughs> That's awesome, we've got one more to go. Okay, fifth and final one, James, is this. Oh, a nasty little light. Over a bunker, to a tight-ish flag. Yep. I'm guessing the flop shot. How, yeah. do, how do we play this one, James? It's gonna be a flop shot. So I'm using 58 here. Um, it's kind of similar to a bunker shot in the way you set up. So you'd have a wide stance. You'd have fairly low hands. You don't want your hands too high on a flop shot. So slightly low hands, set the club face open. Then you take your grip, you, you keep your weight forward. And I feel on a flop shot, like I'm trying to keep my sternum on the ball during the whole swing. So I'm going to swing, keep my feet aiming left and then swing my club head up and down the foot line of where I'm trying to go. Okay, so club face open, hands a little bit low, wide stance, ball positions forward, weights forward, and then I'm gonna try and take it up and down the foot line, keeping my sternum on the ball. Very nice. There you go. I've got two very quick questions. Yep. A little tip for somebody who was worried about the bunker. Like, do you even think about it? What's a, what's a good positive tip? What bunker? What bunker? And apart from that, when you open the face, do you yep. aim that at the target or more to I, the right? I feel like the face aims a little bit right, but my body alignment's aiming left of the target. Perfect. And then I swing up and down my foot line. James. A good little tip, sorry, on the way through, Keep the club face looking towards you. That's a great little tip to get that extra loft. Superstar. Go and follow James. Loads of great tips. And uh, I've, I've taken a lot of notes there and a lot of things I need to <laughs> learn from. Thanks for that, James. That was awesome. Cheers, buddy.